Well, as we have been reporting, Attorney General William Barr is threatening to cancel his appointment to testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee this coming Thursday. The dispute apparently is over who questions him. Well, one member of that committee joins us now. She is Pennsylvania Democratic Congresswoman Madeline Dean, who also serves on the House Financial Services Committee. Congresswoman, welcome uh, to Fox News Channel. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, the Department of Justice, uh, we're told, that it objects to both the Democratic and the Republican counsels of the committee questioning Barr after uh, the traditional questions from you guys, the members. And they also apparently object to plans to go into an executive session if you start discussing redacted grand jury testimony. Uh, so all of that, do you think that the attorney general will show? I have no idea, but I do know that uh, our Judiciary Committee takes very seriously our duty to complete these investigations and to speak to Attorney General Barr and to get the facts before the American public. Uh, and I believe it is our independent decision how we run our committee hearings. Uh, so I fully support our committee's plan uh, to have uh, individual members question, uh, to have our counsel question. And of course, the purpose of going behind closed doors is if there's anything uh, that is confidential, uh, that is grand jury material, that we would actually need to be able to talk to Attorney General Barr about. I'm puzzled by Attorney General Barr at this point uh, suggesting he will not show. Uh, and it's puzzling because we see that across this administration including the president saying he doesn't think uh, the members of his administration should honor the subpoenas. Uh, what do they have to hide? Well, the, I mean, the uh, bar could say you guys are trying to change the rules. Uh, I mean, do the councils usually talk to people who are witnesses after members of Congress in your committee when you have your hearings? Historically, uh, that has been one of the committee formations, so it is not uh, without precedent. And also, we are a co-equal branch. We actually get to determine fair rules for the operation of our committee. And the purpose is singular, to get all of the information, to get all of the information before the American people. Because let's take a look at what the Mueller report showed. It showed sweeping and systematic interference uh, by Russia uh, uh, in our 2016 election. It showed the president and his contemporaries welcomed that, publicly welcomed that interference. And of course, it also showed uh, multiple circumstances, more than uh, 10 circumstances, where the president, instead of saying, we have a serious problem here, please investigate this, where he actually obstructed justice. Uh, we have every responsibility at this grave time in our history uh, to hold uh, this administration accountable. Well, those 10, uh, ten that you cite, for example, the uh, claim that McGahn says that uh, the president called him to fire Mueller, I mean, those are allegations. Yeah. And, and the president denies that he did that. They're not proven. Well, we do we don't know that the president denies because he didn't cooperate. He didn't come in and testify. Uh, McGahn did come in and testify. Uh, and he testified not only that he was asked to fire, but then was asked to lie about being asked to fire. Can you imagine that? Another member uh, of Deputy uh, uh, National Security Advisor, KT McFarlane, was asked to falsify a document. Uh, it's, it's just stunning. Uh, the interference by this president with this investigation once he realized he was under uh, the investigation. Well, the, you, the, you'd have to go no farther than uh, Judge Napolitano, who said that we must go forward with our investigation because it appears that the president has been operating out of self-interest. His behavior so, shows that he's operating out of self-interest. Ju Judge Napolitano. Out of, uh, of, sorry to interrupt, but of course, the Fox News uh, legal analyst. So the president, though, says yes. what the, the committee is doing is a, is a, quote, political witch hunt. Here's what he says uh, uh, about the investigations on Capitol Hill. We gave 1.4 million documents, if you can believe such a ridiculous thing. 500 people testified. We had 18 people that were Trump haters. That includes... Mr. Mueller, he was a Trump hater. I'm talking now, about wait a minute. Congress, wait, Mr. President. Wait, wait, wait. Can he testify? With all of president? this, with all of this, with all of this transparency, we finish. No collusion, no obstruction, right? Then I get out the first day. They're saying, "Let's do it again," and I said, "That's enough. We got to. We have to run a country." So, as the as the president says, or his view, he he thinks the Democrats are trying to sandbag him, or is this legitimate and appropriate? congressional oversight of the executive branch. 
I'm confident. I think uh, the American people are confident that this is important executive. This is oversight over the executive. You know, in the large sweep of history, I'm pretty sure what will not be remembered is the number of times this president has said no collusion, no obstruction. They will remember the cruel, corrupt behavior of a, an administration that tried to cover over their behaviors of obstruction. And again, it is about the faithful execution of his office. Uh, we do not see that. And the Mueller report shows uh, that he is not uh, exculpated uh, from obstruction of justice. In fact, there's serious evidence of obstruction. And uh, more than that, uh, the, the president himself failed to cooperate with this. It's puzzling to me why Attorney General Barr has so mischaracterized the president's behavior in this. Uh, why is he carrying the president's water? It seems to me that the attorney general has given away, poured away his own credibility in buckets by trying to offer the president the cover of no collusion uh, or some sort of exoneration. There is no exoneration. Uh, Special Counsel Mueller said if he could so say, he would say so. But instead what he said is, I am obligated to preserve for the future at a time when perhaps this president could be indicted once he is out of office the testimony, the information, the facts and the data so that they are before the American people. That's what I think my job is as a member of Congress and as a member of the Judiciary Committee. So I look forward uh, to Attorney General Barr coming before us. And if he doesn't, we'll make sure that we use our subpoena power uh, and the justice system to make sure he comes and talks to the American people. Congressman uh, from Pennsylvania, Madeline Dean, Democrat member of the Judiciary Committee. Of course, the president has vowed to fight the subpoenas. He did answer written questions to the uh, Mueller investigators, but we'll see four days to determine whether the attorney general will show up before your committee. I expect this will be a huge story with a lot of anticipation this week. Thank you for joining us here on the Fox News Channel Thanks. on this Sunday, and we will have a lot more news coming up. We will be right back.